Good Friday everyone, this is Victor once again from theforexboto.com and today we will look at the Swiss franc versus Japanese yen currency pair. To remind you, before we start, all the information in this video is purely for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. And as a tradition, we will move uh, back to previous analysis quickly to summarize what has happened. Uh, first off, pound versus Australian dollar, this downtrend still on, uh, you, we can see the rejection of the moving average 200 period. So yeah, it's still down. Australian Japanese yen, uh, we expect the second target to be reached, although guys, there, there could be some profit taken already, or at least stop loss moved uh, to the break even point. On the Australian Swiss franc, it seems like it might be actually hitting the target. So in the worst case scenario, stop loss at break even or below the moving average, you can see price almost reached um, the moving average here. But overall, this is the key area of support. We might see the spike below price return. So here I would say profit fixing would be the best thing. Now on the pound Swiss franc, uh, we had this idea to short from uh, around this area. What is very interesting is that price failed to close above on the daily chart. We were talking about if there will be a close above this high, uh, we would place the stop loss just above it. But price hasn't closed above, so this trade is still valid. And now the stop loss is just above the high formed here. So overall stop loss can be hard put on this level 21.45 and we're expecting quite a strong move down. And this is the reason also we, we might be fixing profit on Australian versus Swiss franc because it seems like Swiss franc is gonna get very strong. And next idea, we actually failed here on pound Canadian dollar. It broke above the resistance, went higher, so maybe more even to the upside. So this trade is invalidated. It, um, it kicks stop loss. The next one, New Zealand versus Canadian dollar. Here on this trade, it's still active because we were talking about this four hour break and close below this level uh, where moving average were rejected. You can see there was a spike although price failed to close below the spike. This trade is still valid. We still expect this uptrend to go on. So this trade is valid and this is our target at 86.52. So expecting still it, it's valid and stop loss can be moved slightly below this level, maybe 10 pips lower. And yeah, we expect this target to be reached. So now let's move on to the Swiss franc versus Japanese yen. So as I said, we expect the Swiss franc to be very strong across the board. It's um, That's why the profit fixing on Australian Swiss franc is good. That's why the pound versus Swiss franc sell is still active, is still valid. And this is the reason we're looking at the Swiss franc versus Japanese yen. So it seems like the safe haven becoming the Swiss franc across the board for the time being. What we see here is a weekly chart and I have applied Fibonacci retracement level to this trend up or correction to the upside. Overall, there is a huge range trading uh, zone on the weekly chart and we have another range trading zone here on um, which is going on for the past few months. Now we are right at the bottom of this range as you can see and if I zoom in, Basically what happened here is the rejection of the simple moving average 200 period. We had the rejection, then the spike below and price failed to close any roll. So it, it's still holding the support and we're right at the bottom of this range. So there seemed to be a buying opportunity on, the, on, this, on this pair. If I zoom out, we can see the Fibonacci retracement level that I have applied. This is basically the target, which is nearest Fibonacci level. We can see here price rejected it cleanly. So it seems like a good target area or target level for the upside move if that will be the case. Now let's move to the daily chart. On the daily, uh, there is our Fibonacci 23.6 and I've applied another Fibonacci to this correction after breakout of the moving averages. We can see it's 362 FIBs 
clearly corresponds with our previous Fibonacci applied. And this makes this target 11460 very, very important. And that's what we expect from this uh, pair. Now, also, we can see the simple moving average is being rejected. And the exponential moving average here, I zoom it in. Here, we, we have failed to break it. There was a spike lower. So if daily close will be below this price, the current low, this will be the exit signal clearly. Daily close below 110.85 uh, will invalidate this trade. So for now, we expect this move to be to the upside up until the point if the daily close will be closing below. On the Swiss versus Japanese uh, yen on the four hour, hour chart, here we see uh, that price is rejecting the uptrend trend line. At the same time, we see here is a bullish divergence. On the one hour chart, we also see the bullish divergence. And this could be the reversal point for, for the Swiss uh, versus Japanese yen. So here is an interesting timing and seems like the buying opportunity, the best time would be on Monday, maybe maybe someday, sometime today during the day. But it seems like the entry point for the buyers is between this low 110.86 and this high 111.18. So this is the buying area as a stop loss or in other words, exit signal is a daily close below this level. At the same time, we broke above the downtrend trend line on one hour chart, which is also good. And we are right at the bottom. We rejected the lower trend line of the descending channel. So there are multiple confirmations that the price might be reversing. And this is actually, if I if I just look, it's actually 110 pips uh, potential target. Sorry, not 110. We're actually looking for the second target. So this is this is how we expect it to be. It's not 110. Let's see. It's actually 300, 350 pips. So this move is 350 pips. Overall, the stop loss with this kind of move should be at least 150 pips. And it would still make the risk reward ratio more than two to one, which is uh, quite good, quite good. So this is the idea for uh, this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see how it goes. I will update you uh, early next week on Monday on all other trades as well. And I hope you will have a good weekend. And don't forget to like and subscribe for our next idea.